What do you think the word transformation means? It means to change in form or appearance, which is actually pretty much what it also means in maths. When a shape is transformed, its appearance changes. It can be rotated, reflected, translated or enlarged. In maths, we learn about these four different types of transformation. In this video, we're going to look at rotation. Rotation involves turning a shape around a set point. This point is called the center of rotation. A shape can be turned a quarter turn, a half turn or three quarters of a turn, clockwise or anti-clockwise. However, no matter how many turns a shape undergoes, the center of rotation and the shape will always be the same distance apart. Let's look at an example. Let's rotate this triangle through a 90 degree turn clockwise around the origin. Rotation questions always include an angle, a direction and a rotation point. 90 degrees clockwise means our shape is going to end up in this quadrant. But where exactly? Choosing a starting corner on the shape, so 2, 1. Point A is 2 along and 1 up from the origin. To rotate something 90 degrees, there's a really great trick. Switch the number of squares along and the number of squares up or down around. So it was two along and one up. It's now going to be one along and two down. And then do the same for the other two corners. So four along and one up becomes one along and four al down. And two along and four up becomes four along and two down. We have our triangle. So join up the points. If the question wanted us to rotate it 180 degrees, then we would have just done each point twice. So 90 degrees to where it currently is, and then another 90 degrees. So let's carry on rotating our triangle. Give these two questions a go. Pause the video, work them out, and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? If you're lucky, you'll be given tracing paper, so then you can just sketch the original shape, rotate your tracing paper around the correct amount, and see where the new shape should be drawn. Easy peasy. One quick tip for using tracing paper, make sure it's always either horizontal or vertical, so then you can easily see when you've rotated the tracing paper 90 degrees. There are other techniques for rotating shapes by 180 degrees, but we think it's easy to just use the same method for 90 degrees and 180 degrees to keep things simple. Ok, so now we know how to rotate a shape around a point, but sometimes we might be given the starting shape and then a new rotated shape and be asked to find the center of rotation. The most important thing to remember is that the center of rotation must be the exact same distance from both shapes. Grab a ruler and a pencil and let's get started. Join the corresponding points A and A' apostrophe with a straight line. Measure exactly halfway along the line and draw a dot. From this dot, draw a line that is 90 degrees to the line, so that the two lines form a cross. Now do the exact same thing but for the joining points B and apostrophe B. Where the two lines cross is the center of rotation. So at 0, negative 1. Simple. Now try one for yourself. Pause the video and have a go. Did you get it right? The center of rotation is at 2, negative 2. So finally, can you remember what three things we always need in a rotation question? Yep, that's right. The angle, direction and rotation point. Watch our other videos to learn about reflections, translations and enlargements. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.